The collapse of a Miami condo building is prompting Jersey City to re-examine safety requirements for the city's high-rise buildings. Mayor Stephen Phillip today announced legislation to create new safety protocols for both residential and commercial buildings. It mandates structural inspections of all concrete buildings above six stories at least every 10 years. The inspections would include examining structural foundations, balconies, and waterproofing conditions. Additionally, exterior walls would be inspected every five years. Mayor Phillips says since that condo collapse in Florida, he's been hearing from Jersey City residents that their condo boards are delaying work because of the potential cost to residents. This new legislation goes before Jersey City City Council next week. The state is offering new rebates to residents who want to drive electric vehicles. The Board of Public Utilities announced car buyers can receive rebates of up to $5,000 under the Charge Up New Jersey Electric Vehicle Incentive Program. Rebates are applied during the purchase or leasing process at car dealerships. Incentives are limited to vehicles priced less than $55,000. This is the second year of the incentive program. During year one, incentives were awarded to 7,000 drivers. The goal here is to increase the number of electric vehicles on New Jersey's roads. The Murphy administration hopes to see 330,000 EVs on the road by 2025, and we are nowhere near that right now. NJ Transit has reached a preliminary agreement on a new contract for nine of its employee unions. The unions represent bus drivers, mechanics, and other workers. Specific details have not yet been released. The transit agency is currently holding contract talks with its rail unions. Now here's a check on today's trading action on Wall Street. I'm Rhonda Schapler, and those are your top business stories. Support for the Business Report provided by SJ Magazine, the heart and soul of South Jersey. Online at sjmagazine.net.